When I wear these around town, I always get asked three questions. What are they? What can you see when you look through them? And what do they do? This is Google Glass, and before we dive deeper into our full review, I'd like to answer those three questions. Google Glass is an Android-based headset that connects to your smartphone with Bluetooth so it has access to internet, GPS services, and other features. It's got a 5 megapixel camera, microphone, can play back audio, and essentially you can keep your phone in your pocket, see everything through glass, and perform a ton of smartphone-like functionality. If I could explain Google Glass with one phrase, it would be picture in picture for life. The first time I tried this, I was pretty much blown away. It wasn't some small little dinky screen that displayed a couple little characters of text. This is like viewing a full-blown monitor or television. I can explain Glass to you all day and tell you what you'll see when you look through it, but there's really nothing like putting it on and looking at the display for the first time. To help you understand a little better, we're actually going to take glass off, try to affix it to a camera, and see if we can help you see what we see. Okay glass, Google Baltimore Orioles. The Orioles beat the Angels 8-4. They are playing the Royals today at 7.05pm. Okay glass, take a picture. Okay, Glass, record a video. Okay, Glass, get directions to Oriole Park at Camden Yards. It's in Oreo Park. <laughs> It found it though. Hit enter. Ooh, it's got walking directions. Okay, Glass. Send a message to Rob Jackson. You are awesome and everybody loves you. Okay, Glass, make a call to Christopher Chavez. Yeah, we're calling you from Google Glass, but we're not, we don't have it on our head. We have it, we're each holding one of the, uh, we're each holding one of the ear things and put the camera in between so that we could look at the screen while we're talking to you. Um, Kevin, can you tap again and see what the options are? End call, swipe forward. Mute, and that's it, I think, yeah. So, we can't really hear you, Chris, because the bone induction piece is not on our ear. So, we're going to try to hang out, too, and we'll get to see your pretty little face in Google Glass. And so will everybody else, but we're going to say goodbye for now. Okay, Glass, hang out with Christopher Chavez. Hey, what's going on? What's up, McFly? We can see you. Uh, what do you see? You probably just see the street, right? Yeah, it's just literally looking outside the window. I was like, what are you doing? Just staring out the window, but I forgot you guys are. How's glass going? How are you liking it? It's cool. Um, it's, uh, it's starting to... All right, well, Chris is going to be doing part of the full Google Glass review, so you can look forward to reading a bunch of his insight. Uh, so until later, thanks for hanging out, Chris. We'll talk to you later. Okay, Glass, Google 24 plus 3 divided by 9. Okay, Glass, Google, convert $25 to pounds. 16.1634 British pounds sterling. 
Okay, Glass, Google convert $17 to euros. 12.9930. OK Glass, Google stock price for Disney. The Walt Disney Company is currently trading at $66.03. OK Glass, Google translate cerveza to English. Beer. OK Glass, Google definition of intrinsic. Belonging naturally, essential. OK Glass. Google weather in Honolulu, Hawaii. It's 76 degrees and cloudy in Honolulu. Forward, 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 forward. Tap. And tap. Backwards. Swipe long swipe, like a hard swipe. Like really hard. Yeah, keep going. Go like a long way. Keep just going, going, going. Keep going more, same thing. Okay, keep going. We're watching a video now. So after you explain and people understand the whole floating magical box in the sky thing, people want to know what can Google Glass do? That question is incredibly deceiving because while Google Glass can do a lot right now, when it becomes available to the public in 2014, it will be able to do a whole lot more. First, Google's focusing on two primary objectives. Number one is to build a solid set of core features that get all the basics right and polished. Objective number two is to support the developer community who will be the ones building this huge multitude of applications that you can use on Glass. And again, it's very similar to your Android film where Google's creating the operating system and the platform and allowing the thousands and thousands of developers out there to extend the experience with tons of different apps and games. But what can you do right now with Glass? You can take pictures and view them on the device. You can record videos in 720p. You can read and respond to email, text messages, and Gtalk chats, make and receive phone calls. You can perform video chats with Google Plus Hangouts, driving directions, much like you see on Google Nav on your smartphone, Google Now. So personalized experience with weather, nearby places, if you've got flights, stuff like that. Obviously there's Google search and it provides pretty simple results. So think simple questions like, you know, things you'd find an answer to on Wikipedia. And yes, you can download third party apps, but there are only a couple out there right now. For example, the New York Times app, which allows you to get notifications for breaking news and have it read the news to you aloud in a very short form. There are a load of apps that you can expect to see upon the launch of Google Glass. And while it's not official, things like YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram are pretty much no-brainers. Hopefully that gives you a nice overview, lets you know what Google Glass is, what it looks like when you look through it, what Google Glass can do now, and what Google Glass may be able to do in the future. We'll be providing a much more in-depth review of Google Glass, so stay tuned to fandroid.com for all those details. For now, I'm Rob Jackson, and that's Google Glass.